Okay, so then what I did was I put the stakeholders at the deliver and dwell stage into this matrix uh, to analyze and prioritize a little bit more. So, the people that ended up in category A, the minimal effort. Uh, what we have here is the alumni and the general public. I put those in as low interest and low power because the alumni are no longer at the school anymore. Some of them might have a key interest, but some of them might not. If they've got that much of interest, they'll be on the board of directors because that's something they want to do. Um, but other student, past students might not really be that interested and they haven't got power to change anything. The same with the general public. At this stage, it's a bit late. It's already been built and it's already been on the handover stage. So they haven't really got the say to change anything now. The two subcontractors, uh, English Heritage Glazing and the Foundation Development Limited, these are the other two subcontractors I was talking about earlier. They now have a low interest and low power. They are just on their defect, defect periods because they've finished the work they've done. Now they're on to their next projects and doing their, their next sort of works. Um, but they will still be a stakeholder of interest because if something goes wrong, as I said, defect period, then we get a phone call to come and uh, make good. So. B. Uh, these ones, the uh, keep informed. So, <coughs> excuse me, these are going to be the end users, the employees. They've got really high interest, the same with the art studio coffee shop and the retail frontage. These guys have got really high interest because they're coming into a new building. However, um, they haven't really got high power, if they don't want to come to work, we'll find someone that will. Um, so at this stage, because it's handover stage, all their issues should have already been dealt with. If not, it's not too much of a, of a drama. Uh, Neighbours, Network Rail, Conservation and the local authority. These guys are really interested because they want to see what the building's going to turn out like. Uh, Network Rail um, has now got the, uh, the the covenant on the, the roads that have access to the site. So they're still really interested, but they haven't really got the power to do anything now because it's delivered and dwell, it's already been built. And here, the uh, internal, uh, the internal fits out subcontractor at the moment, Shepherd Engineering Services, high interest because he's still being used on site, uh, low power, because if he doesn't want to fit it out, he doesn't like something, I'll find another company that can. End users in category C, the students. Low interest because the students, as long as they've got a university to go to, most people will be quite happy with that. As long as they've got somewhere for their money that they're paying, they'll be quite happy. Um, if it's staying at Avery Hill whilst this one's not quite done, or if it's ready, then absolutely fantastic. They have a high power though, uh, because if they're not, if there's not something for them to come to, they might go somewhere else. Therefore, that's going to greatly affect the university. Main contractor, Osborne and the architects, they have a, a high power because they are the guys that are obviously still in charge of uh, building, building Stockwell Street and designing it. However, they're low interest now because it's handover stage and now thinking about their next project. What are they moving on to after Stockwell Street? That's where most of, it, of their interest will be now. And the key players. The client, both project managers, these guys are still really, really interested and have a lot of power in the project. Uh, the client might not like something or the internal fits out, so they might want it changed. So therefore the project managers are going to have to still be kept on their toes at this point with a really high interest and um, a really high power. However, our University of Greenwich work could be a little bit debatable where their interest lies because they're running more than one project. Uh, they're also looking at the accommodation side, the student accommodation down in, uh, near Greenwich as well as Stockwell Street. So their interest could be on, on par both. And Briam and HSC, the Health uh, and Safety Executive, they are really high interest because it's a really new building. Health and safety is going to be key. And the Briam side, because it is a nice sustainable building, we want a, a good rating. So they're going to have a really high interest in it and a really high power because they can either shut us down if we have bad health and safety or they can give us a really bad rating and that could affect the university in the long run.